Ocho. Join me for all the street festivals as well as celebrity interviews. <laughs> studio who are hip-hop producers and I performed for Fat Joe in the actual uh, booth and he went insane he was like that's where it's at so it's a privilege to be performing on the same set as Fat Joe. Do you get nervous going up on stage I mean we probably have about four to five thousand people out there how do you handle the butterflies? The, the crowd feeds me so when I see them react I react when they go hard I go harder so I feel I felt amazing. When can we expect to hear something from you radio play or what are you working on? Um, we're, actually, we're also going to be, um, at, we're actually going to be releasing my single, it's called Sleep When I'm Dead, it's produced by Swedish House Mafia's um, Steve Angelo, it's going to be a dope smash, uh, we're going to be releasing it by the end of this month, so, yeah. Stay tuned and listen for it, K-Rose, where can they find you? You guys can reach me on Twitter, at K-Rose Online, or on my website, www.krosonline.com. Thank you so much for stopping to talk with us, we definitely look forward to seeing you killed it on stage. Thank you so much and don't go anywhere.
Sean Paul. Sean, how are you? What's up? I'm good. Calle Ocho, you know what I mean? 2012. Sean, we saw you in 2009. A bunch of stuff has happened. What are you working on? What can fans expect this year from you? I got a new album coming out. It's called Tamahawk Technique. Um, you know, new music. That's it. Um, the song called Got to Love You. She doesn't mind. A lot of more bangers on there, so look out for it. Tamahawk Technique. Let me ask you a question, Sean. With all of the success that you had, how do you st stay grounded as an individual? I don't know. <laughs> that's it. It, that, that's, it is what it is. Any Give love to my fans and the people who support me from day one. And yeah, they keep it real with me, I keep it real with them, for real. Have you been touring on the international front? When can we expect you in America? I was just in Switzerland yesterday in the snow. And so it's very good to be here in Cayo Ocho. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm touring this summer. I'm going to do a lot of different um, shows all over the place. We're doing promo tour right now. Getting people to know about the album. It's called Tamahawk Technique. You know what I mean? In the streets. Sean, thank you so much for stopping with us. It's always great seeing you. Stay tuned with Celebrity in Miami. competition in uh, live I won it Laz happened to be the judge and power 96 was going through his changes getting their new boss from hot 97 Jill Strada 
And he just automatically told her, like, yo, we got to bring Epps on the team. So big shout to DJ Labs for putting me down with Joe Strada and Power 96. And um, come uh, October, they made it official. And within six months, you know what I mean, we became number one. I love it. You know, I hear DJ Epps all over, but you have had, I mean, a lot of people think it's overnight success. You put so much groundwork into this business. Tell me what are, are some of the most influential parts in your career that you think have really helped you develop of who you are today? Well, a lot of years through that, man, whether 50 put me down with G-Unit or Alonzo Morning put me down to do all his parties in Miami, all around the States, Spike Lee putting me in commercials, um, Chris Pacello starting me off at Fat Black Pussycat. You know, some of these things just made my name Rose, Rose, Rose. And the Power 96 is just a, a, like a stamp of approval, like, yeah, he's that dude. But don't get it twisted. The grind don't stop there. Got a lot more to do, man. My album coming out. Got mixtapes coming out. You know what I mean? We're doing shows all around the world. And I'm glad to be next to you. You know, he is so humble, and that is one of the things. I mean, we see a lot of artists, a lot of celebrities that we deal with, and you don't really come across such a humble guy. How do you stay so grounded, Epps? You know, people like my lovely wife over there, you know what I mean? You know, the people, the team that I mess with. And basically, I'm the only child, so I don't know how to argue. I don't get into fights. Uh, maybe a debate or something, but, you know, I stay humble. You know what I mean? That's why everybody Fs with me every year, every day, every minute, man. So to everybody that, that's my partners, my friends, and family, I appreciate you for letting me be in your life and all of that stuff. And let's continue being humble. Epps, thank you so much for taking the time. Stay tuned. You guys don't go anywhere else. Kaya Ocho is winding down, and we're catching it all. I'll let you, boy. DJEpps.com. Thanks for tuning in to the Miss Celebrity in Miami show. I've been your host, Stephanie Banks. Power 96 outdid themselves again this year. Fat Joe, Sean Paul, Flo Rider. What an amazing lineup. If you didn't make it out this year, make it out next year. Keep it locked on your girl, Miss Celebrity in Miami. Stephanie Banks in front of the backdrop. I'm standing here with Tyler. Tyler, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good, thank you. Tyler, let me ask you. With Flo's label, how did you and Flo meet up? Well, what happened is I'm signed to an independent label in Canada called CP Records and we have a rapper named Belly. So he called Flo and he's like, yo, you got to go on YouTube. You got to check this kid out. And then a few weeks after that, I was in Montreal with him. He brought me out to Montreal and he brought me out on stage and now we're here. It must seem so unsurreal for yourself. As a beginning artist, how do you take yourself to the next level and continue to evolve? You always got to outdo yourself. Your biggest competitor is you. Freddie, how are you? Pretty good, how about yourself? Good, thank you. Let me ask you, you know, a lot of people come to Calle Ocho. It is one of the world's largest street festivals. Your guys' job to keep everyone safe, how do you do it? Our job is to keep everybody safe. Unfortunately, some of the people don't comply by the rules, a little mixture of alcohol and a big crowd. So far, we've only had a couple of arrests. I mean, we, we encourage people to come, have fun, hear the music, come drink and enjoy Miami's big party, but uh, we're just here to protect you guys.